Okay, this is video of this idea take three because the first time the video didn't uh, catch the beginning of the recording and after reviewing it I figured out that I had missed a, a step in the, the going through of it and since this is for my own reference as much as for educating anyone else I wanted to make sure it was complete so that when I try to do this again tomorrow I'll remember how to do it or I won't be able to. Okay, a little bit background here. I'm in the middle of a collaborative effort with another modder to convert an outfit that started out in Skyrim and made its way to Fallout New Vegas, a Fallout 3 called Aradius Gato, uh, a steampunk couture outfit. And the alternate texture set that I was working on has some alpha on one of the stockings. And it showed up properly in Outfit Studio when I previewed it, so I thought everything was okay. It wasn't. I got it in game and found out that the the transparency was not interacting as it should be. And I opened up it again in NIFScope to see if I could figure out what the issue was, and no, it wasn't showing up there either. So I made a little plea for help on Flickr, and a couple folks responded rather quickly. Barefoot Warrior tried to help, and ultimately I got the answers I needed from Vobla Forever and Eric Storm, who gave me the information I needed to solve the issue. All right, we've got the model here open in NIFScope 2. Make sure it's NIFScope 2 if you're going to do this, because NIFScope 1 isn't going to do it. It's, it's a different model, a different NIF format entirely. But you know, here's the, here's the block that we're dealing with. What we're going to do is first, we're going to right click, block, insert, uh, yes. And then we're going to add Ni Alpha property, which is under Ni A, of course. Ni Alpha property. Bingo. All right, and we can see that it has been created. We're then going to right click on our newly created property and say block copy branch. Yes. Now, referring back to the block affected, bear with me, this is still new to me. Yeah, okay, we don't want that block, we want this one. Or do we? I don't. Here it is, BS properties. It's a bunch of BS. It sure is. And this is the the materials of the block in question. We're going to highlight and then right click, block, paste branch here on BS properties. Yes, we're sure we want to do it. And it's going to take a moment to do its thing. And sure enough, there's the change we wanted. But we're not quite done yet. Okay, first off, we need to clean up after ourselves. This property here is no longer needed, so we're going to block and remove that branch. Okay. Now the model will be suitable for saving. Uh, so you would go to File. Okay, Nifscope, come on. File, and then... You know, save or save as, whatever your preference is. I'm not going to save this because this is my, my copy that I'm playing with just for demonstration purposes. And I don't want to mess with that yet because I'm still learning here. The second part of this process, though, we didn't finish with this. We, we finished with the, the actual model, but we need to go into the material editor. Here I'm using Ausneus' uh, material editor. It's it, functionally the same in the end as the material editor that comes with the Creation Kit 2.0 or GEC 2.0, whatever you want to call it, CK. And, but now this is easier to use and you don't have to go through the uh, Creation Kit to get to it, so I, I prefer that because it's faster. Just like I prefer using, you know, FF4 Edit over the Creation Kit for simple changes. It's, 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 it's easier, it's the proper tool for the job in my opinion. And we just open the file and we're going to check the box for Alpha Test. If you don't check that box, once you get into game, your stocking block will be invisible. And that's not a good thing. Anyway, alpha test checked, and then we're going to save the material file as well. The material files are recognized by the extension BGSM. I'm not sure if that's, you know, if that is the game studio material or if that's the industry term or whatever. I've never heard of it before until Fallout 4. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to pass on ignorance. I don't know. And save. Uh, once you've done that, 
it works. Yay! So thanks again to BFW, to Eracusu Storm, and to Vobla Forever. You guys are amazing. And without you, this would not have progressed to where it has. Thanks!